Hello friends, this is Scott, and we're in my, one of my little bedrooms that's not being currently used other than by, look who we got here, Miss Thang, she's feeling better. So she's moving around, she's drinking, she even ate a little bit when I, I have to force feed her, and she, I spilled a little bit on the blanket here, and uh, yeah, she, uh, she licked a little bit off that, off the, off the blanket, so, but she's still not feeling her best, she's not sniffling as much as you see you know i have a dilemma between you know <laughs> whether this is a barn cat or whether this is a this is family so she's a sweetie and again i didn't <laughs> when i bought the hobby farm i didn't plan on owning kitties but she's a sweetie even though we've had trials and tribulations trying to give her medication she's done okay um she still likes me and she's purring and and she's doing those things so now again this cat when i first bought the hobby farm this cat wouldn't have anything to do with me if she saw me she'd run off and hide but we used to sit out on the front porch and over time this cat finally would you know let me start petting her and then she'd jump in my lap and couldn't pick her up and hold her but you know over time she let me start doing that and then now this cat just loves attention so you know, you show a little love to an animal and, and be, have some patience, you know, things usually work out okay. Now, having this cat in the house has been a little bit of a challenge. Uh, she's, you know, we have litter boxes in the garage, but she's an outdoor cat. So I think this is the cat that goes outside and probably pees. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't like to use the litter box. So I've got these blankets down and, and I've got, you know, we put new carpet in these rooms. Oh, uh, well, it's been a couple of years now, but this room doesn't, hasn't been used hardly at all. So I'm trying to keep the pee off the floor because, you know, as we, if you ever watched any of my home remodeling at the hobby farm, the cats were the biggest problem. You know, they peed on the floors. They were allowed to run through the house. There's cat doors everywhere. And, uh, yeah, there's some dogs too, but cat urine is much worse than, uh, than dog urine. So especially female cats. So yeah, she's a, she's, I'm pitting her, petting her. You can't see her right now, but she's right here. Now I want to show you how fun it is and again this is a cat that's learned to trust me and uh, she's still not happy about getting force fed and, and doing those types of things so today's video is going to be kind of how you how you can or how you have to force feed a force feed a cat you can hear she's kind of purring right now and she's like she's liking the attention so the plan is i think this is day five maybe of a 10-day supply of medicine and i'm probably going to get as close as i can to, to christmas and then run down and I think that'll probably be about day eight or nine, and then get this cat back down there if she's if she's feeling okay. Uh, we're going to be gone a lot, and uh, I want to make sure she's uh, she's back in her home environment. But I got to make sure she's eating on her own and uh, doing those types of things. So, so anyway, let me set her down just for a second, and then I'm going to show you what you use to 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 force feed a cat. Okay, here's a basic syringe. Okay, and I've stuffed that with cat food, and, and she's only, she hasn't eaten hardly anything. She's drinking, but she's not eating. So, uh, on her own anyway. So I've got to give her a little bit of this and squeeze it in her mouth, and then she swallows it, and then I, you know, I try not to give her too much. I think I did about the same amount yesterday. So she's, you know, again, she's feeling better, and her sniffles are getting better. Uh, doesn't have the snotty nose and the watery eyes as bad. I'm still putting the eye medication in. It's just a, it's a steroid of some kind to, to help. So yeah, she's doing she's doing much better, but I just wish she was potty trained or used the litter box because she doesn't use the litter box. So anyway, let's show you how fun it is to uh, to force feed a cat. So here we go. This thing is here. I better use my glasses so I can see. And you can see she's already got more strength and energy, and she knows what this is all about. So she's pretty good about opening her mouth if I can get close enough, but. She's not a biter. She's not a scratcher. Come on. But she doesn't like it. Yep, she's going to drop more of it on the ground than, than not. So we took a break for a second. Let's see how much I got it. Well, she wasted a lot of that, I think. But yeah, we'll put there. We'll try again. So I got about that much left on my to feed her today. And I'm not going to go overboard. I don't want her to get a stomach ache and all that. I don't know if she's even eating any of this at the moment. Wasn't real successful. She kind of spit some of it out. But 
got to get her to eat. I'm not going to take her down to the hobby farm until she's she's ready to to eat on her own. And again, she'll she'll lick a little bit off the blanket if uh, if I spill some. But she hasn't been over to her uh, food dish, and she's not drinking water unless I take her over there, and then she drinks. And then she drinks quite a bit, all you know, quite a lot. So. So that's good. The water is more important at this point than the food, but let's see if we can get any more of this down her. Okay, kitty. And she's a sweet cat. And again, the other cats would not, wild cats or barn cats would not be that, that, <laughs> that ready to, uh, to take a little medicine, but she's good. She's, she's got sharp little claws, but she's not clawing me on purpose. She's just wanting to say, I don't like that. Come on, come on, let's eat. Come on. Yep, she's clawing my leg right now. And let's see if I can get anything. Well, I gotta get her mouth. I gotta get her head better. Because she doesn't want she's moving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, she doesn't want this. She's not happy. Got a little more, maybe. I don't know how much I'm gonna force her. She's a... Uh, She's she's not mad at me, but she's she's not a happy kitty when she's uh, when she's being. When you hear her sniffle still. She's still sniffling. So so anyway, we're uh, we'll try one more time. See if we can get a little bit more in her. And but she's moving around and she's oh yeah she spit it out. So she's not real not real interested in food at the moment. So maybe that'll be all I try to do at the moment. And maybe I'll try a little bit again later. So so anyway. You see Miss Thing, she's uh, she's doing better. And again, my last rant video was that I, I wish there was more I could do. She thinks I'm gonna give her more. Uh, my last rant video was that we have no over-the-counter medicine. Now this cat, if I would have been able to get over-the-counter medicine, I probably would have been able to, you know, deal with some of the symptoms to the point where I could have got her to eat and, and you know, force feed her and, and get some water in her. And then maybe over time she could have kicked it without having to go to the vet. Again, it was 300 and some odd dollars. The medication itself was like 80 something and I think 30 something. So, you know, that would have been $110, but I'd much rather have spent, been able to spend $110 on, on the, even the medications than uh, having to spend this extra bunch of money on a, an office visit that, you know, they say they got to see the cat, but they don't do anything with the cat. They don't, there's no diagnostic. They just, you know, it's just basic stuff. It, the doctor told me nothing that I didn't, uh, didn't know myself. So anyway, at least we could cut the bill on a third if uh, we have some kind of over-the-counter medicine. So anyway, well, thank you. And this thing is doing better, so I just wanted to give you kind of an update. And uh, we'll we'll give her a couple more days here, keep putting the, the main medicine in. And uh, again, that's once a day. It's just a little on a little syringe, kind of a smaller syringe. Pop it in. She takes that down real well. That's not a problem. And uh, yeah, so she's doing better. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll uh, hopefully get back to some gardening or some other types of products, projects, I should say. So thank you.